Hi guys, uh, welcome again to COVID cooking, home cooking during the new normal. Today I'm going to cook another Chinese dish. Uh, this time is rice pork belly. Here we are. I got really nice pork belly. The thickness just correct. So you need a skin, uh, a layers of uh, fat, and then the meat itself. So what we're going to do now is to cook that slowly. Instead of using pan, um, I will be using rice cooker. Before we do anything else, what we have to do now is just to boil the pork belly a little bit, probably about a couple of minutes, to get the, all that smell of porky, the strong smell of pork disappeared. So here we are. I got the, just plain water in there, turn it on, drop your pork belly, stick inside down, and wait until boiling. So it's going to be boiling slowly. So therefore the pork belly won't be constructed and then uh, become hard. Okay, after two minutes, so the pork belly already hardened and then we take them out and it's time to clean uh, the left of a hair. Using knife, we clean all the excess in there and possibly the hair as well until really really clean here also I'm using a blue torch to get rid of whatever hair that's left in there yeah. our next job is to cut them into portion probably about an inch and a half uh, square so here we are next one we need to tie them up with a butcher string if you can get a butcher string you can use uh, raffia uh, or whatever you have in hand You might ask him why we need to taste this up. It is because when it's cooked, because it's slow cooked, they will be falling apart. So you don't want this falling apart, so you want it to be stay still like this when we serve that later on. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I got a rice cooker here, and then this uh, like baby licks. What we have to do now is just take the baby licks in there, like that, and then uh, I got spring onion, like so. So basically, just to cover the bottom bit. So when we put the pork, it won't be burn to the bottom okay this is add to the here as well just spread it out like that so that will be given flavor okay next garlic just smash them like that And then again, add it to the rice cooker. We add a couple of chili, depending on uh, your liking. If you and then next, Chinese five spice, or ngo hiong, I call it. And then, dark soy sauce, for a decent amount. Honey, add a little bit of water, like that, and just a small drop of food coloring. So you can use red rice, 
but I don't have red rice so I'm using food coloring. This is uh, edible food coloring used for dessert usually. Then what you have to do, just arrange your pork belly in there like so. There you go. What you have to do, close the rice cooker. My rice cooker is an old rice cooker, it's only got on and off. So basically just press it down and then start cooking now. So if you have a newer, uh, latest version of rice cooker, you probably have many buttons you deal with, but mine only two. Okay, what we have to do now, just wipe. So basically every now and again, uh, when the rice cooker uh, make a noise, that's when finish cooking, we just open the lid and close it again and start cooking again. Okay, after an hour, we need to turn it over. Our pork ready. So, take all the pork. Let's look at that. Okay, next, cut all the butcher string like so and then just place it over the bok choy like so and continue with the rest of the pork okay here we are I, I'll arrange that uh, the pork belly on top of the bok choy. Now we just add the sauce we got earlier after this we strain them. Here we are. Simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, Chinese rice pork belly done.